Judge Judy has come under fire after her long-standing bailiff, Petri Hawkins Bird, called her out for ditching him without a heads up or even a warning. The DailyMail.com says Bailiff Hawkins Bird spent 25 years by the judge's side and he feels confused and dismayed at being left out of her new show. Well, Bird the Bailiff is joining us now to talk <laughs> about it. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hey. Hey. How are you guys doing? Fantastic. It's so nice to see you. Yes. Good to see you guys. We're shocked too. Uh, I'm sorry? We're shocked, too. We want to hear your story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so it, it's it's not uh, much of a story to tell. I, it, You know, and, and I'm surprised at, at all of the uh, energy that's being, uh, you know, corralled behind, uh, behind what happened. But uh, simply put, uh, back in April, uh, when we ended the show, I was, you know, I wasn't told anything. It was just like, hey, good luck, goodbye. And uh, the next day, um, the, the following day, my wife was having brain surgery. Mm. Okay, so, Is she you okay? know, my concentration, my concentration for that day and for the next few months was making sure that she's taken care Absolutely. of and, right. and, and looking after her. You know, that was, you know, and, and I believe you guys know her, Nikita yes, Bond. Yes, uh, we absolutely is, you know, do. You know, and, so, uh, and, and so that's what I concentrated on. Well, a few months later, Makita, being a producer type and everything, she was like, you know, have they called you? Have, have the Judge Judy people called you about the new show? I was like, no. So she said, you know, she was like, you know, you should call a judge. You should ask her. So I text her, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? She calls me right back. You know, uh -huh. uh, she always does that, calls me right back. And we chatted about Makita's health and everything like that. And then I said, well, to get to the point of this, uh, I was wondering, like, on your new show, uh, were you were your people going to call me and ask me whether or not, you know, uh, I was, you know, I was invited to, you know, to participate? And I was informed at that point, no, uh, we, we uh, we're, we're going with another bailiff, and uh, you know, pretty much you. This was this was her quote: "You priced yourself out of wow." The of the bailiff. I was like price myself out of it. Well, how can I price myself out of it if it's a new show and you didn't ask me about it? You know, mm. what happened to, like, good faith negotiations? How about right. that? So, right. So that, you know, that's that's what happened. That's the, you know, that's 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 the, that's the truth. I was Got gonna, it. I was well, gonna say that's my truth, Bert, but that's the I truth. I posted about this. Yeah. And this is where, it's, uh, this is why you're on the show, because people love you for 25 years we've been watching you on judge judy and yeah. people were very upset to find out that you weren't at least asked when you told your side of the story so what is your relationship like with judge judy what was it like i mean 25 so, years there had to be something there yeah dang well, we did well, here's years the thing here's the thing I, I, <laughs> i've known her for 35 years oh, okay wow. so when i was when i was a court officer in new york that's where i originally met her and then I moved out to California in 1990, and um, I left law enforcement. Show. I was working as a high school counselor, and one day I read about her in the paper that they were developing a TV show for her. I wrote her a letter congratulating her, and uh, I was kidding around at the end of the letter, and I said, uh, hey, if you ever need a bail, if I still look good in uniform. Well, that little joke mm. turned into a 25-year career. So now, wow. Now, our relationship has always been friendly and cordial, always. Uh, however, uh, you know, I know that most of most of the world believes that we're good friends. You know, I, I can only say we're we're friendly, but I I haven't had dinner over her house. We haven't gone out yeah. for lunch in in you know in 25 years. Uh, it's sort of like the guy in the mailroom at Microsoft, his relationship to Bill Gates. <laughs> You know, wow. it's like, wow. uh, have you ever wow. seen Bill Gates? I, I don't know. Oh, he ain't never come down here to the mailroom. That, that is disappointing, because I think, like Lonnie said, we all really fell in love with you over the years yeah. and everything. Um, well, I, lo I you love you guys. You know that. You know, Thank we run into each other at the yes. Emmys and different and different uh, uh, affairs yes. and, and stuff. And I, I've, I've always admired all of you, you know, so you. just Thank keeping you. it real. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're keeping it real. What ha what ha What's your takeaway with all this? Yeah. What? Is there a uh, lesson learned? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, so, so, 
uh, God will close a door, mm. you know, if he if he sees you keep looking at that door. You know, if you keep looking back at Egypt and going, man, we had it better back there, you know, God will close that door so that you will turn your attention to the things that he has for you, yes. to, the, to the future, you know? Yeah. So so one of the things that I've learned is uh, uh, Makita and I do not drive in, looking in the rearview mirror. We look ahead, you know, to, to, what, to what's coming for us. Uh, the other thing that I've learned is that not everybody that's friendly is your friend. Yes. So, yes. You know, so word, 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 word. I would have thought, I would have thought in 25 years, you know, now you're you're sitting on the bench to my right for 25 years. I would have thought at some point you'd have leaned over and said, oh, by the way, uh, after year 25, I'm not gonna be doing this anymore and I'm gonna do something new and I might not be asking you to come along with right. me. Right. You know, just, just, just a matter of conversation. Yes. Yeah, okay? That would have been very you know. gracious. Yeah. yeah. So wow. what are your plans moving forward, Bird? Because I know you're not just going to be here. You're going to be somewhere. Where are you going? <laughs> so so I've, I've been in talks about developing a mediation show uh, oh, with yeah. me as the mediator. Uh, you know, and this, this uh, hinges on my experience uh, working in high schools, mediating yeah. stuff with teenagers, which oh, is wow. rough at best. Uh, but <laughs> but so, so we're trying to develop a, a TV show in regards to that. Also, um, my wife and I, we have a we have a, a weekly podcast called Bonding with Bird that is growing in in, in popularity. Great. And uh, we, we we have fun. We do hot topics and 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 That's you know awesome. we have guests on and everything like that. Hint hint, we have guests. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you know, we wouldn't mind some wonderful ladies from the real stopping yeah. by. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, well, so, if there's one thing you can say to Judge Judy, what would you say? Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, I, I well, wish. Man. No, I, I've, I've always, I've always wished her well. You know, my whole career with her started off on a, on me sending her a letter, wishing her well and oh, well, and yeah. wishing her success. So you know what? I'm gonna keep with that same vein, knowing that God is gonna reward me <laughs> for for being a right kind of guy. You yes. Know, and, when they go so low, you her, go I high. wish you all the best. That's I don't, right. I don't hold no malice. Well, Great. we wish you the best, and we also wish our girl, Marquita, yes. the best. Marquita, you know we love you. Yes. You are always our family. She used to work here at The Real. She was a fantastic producer. We miss her, and she's always family.